and my life as a solo started like everybody else on the server, with a dream and a goal to get as much loot as possible. How well I can do for myself, that's kind of what we're doing today, you know, I'm back doing a solo run. There's been a lot of new updates and additions to the game, obviously, you know, you've had Dozer, you know, the whole update with that stuff, um, yeah, a lot of things have changed, and um, I've just been kind of in the midst of that doing my thing so yeah today i'm playing we're gonna try going for as long as we can This dude got fucking clap, bro. The foundation of a wipe always starts with some basic runs. This slow progression builds the player's stash while simultaneously showing the dangers that they can encounter. It's a necessary step to begin their journey, which will only be more dangerous as they continue to traverse the world of Project Dunthal. Might be strat. Oh, look at that. You can just see the fucking tracers coming from there. Yeah, running Anton is definitely, like, what we need to do. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, there we go. We got the village key right there. Huge fucking play that grants you, like, the opportunity to PvP, right? That's quick momentum, but that doesn't always happen, right? Got him. There we go. Let's fucking go, dude. Alright. Just like the foundation, the building of momentum by making plays is just as important to the run. For us, making these high risk, high reward plays accelerates our growth in the server, and by doing this enough, we can advance our equipment into a better stage, allowing for more opportunities. So far, so good. The only catch, we had to keep going bigger.
there's only one of the scientists and there's still like fucking 10 more of these dudes so we're clearing rooms with this we're, we're using the ap all right we're using the fucking the flood shot bro now i know this can definitely fuck them up no nope. Jesus Christ. These guys are fucking tough, dude. Oh my god. Only now am I realizing how much I may have just fucked up. There's no A12s. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That was straight cheeks. What is this? All right, come on now. We got too fucking close, bro. Ain't no way I'm risking this shit. Nah, nah, nah. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Right. The second, the second like that, like my med shit broke. I was like, fuck. I started panicking. I dead ass started panicking because I was like, damn, if I die here, I'm cooked and there's nothing I can do. That's horrible fucking move, by the way. Oh. I don't even have enough, like, durability to fucking store shit in here, bro. If I dead ass just don't. There we go, fucking large. I'm getting, I'm getting so much AP ammo, bro. I'm gonna be able to have like a full mag of AP ammo after this. It's all mag, like all AP. AP. They call AP ammo. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, that was kinda. That was lucky kinda cheeks, I'm not gonna cap, bro. That was pretty bad. So, yeah, kinda glad I didn't drop anything for it. Yeah, airfield is strat for sure, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Look, I still got the Serum X quest. Yeah. Oh my god, let's go. Let's actually go. Shit ton of more fucking inventory space. Damn. Taking the reward from your built momentum is a great feeling in Project Delta. But this feeling can also only last a short period of time. As people in your server begin to progress with you, sometimes even at a quicker rate, things become much harder for the player, and the stakes increase as well. You guys definitely deserve some Anton content. It's been a minute. Alright, but uh, I'm going to take out the AI here. Uh, we have to do this now. You know, eventually we had to take out Anton, bro, you know? get another Anton kit, you know how it is. But even in Project Delta, nothing is guaranteed. The only thing you can do is to keep moving forward, and eventually, your time will come. Did 
to hear some shots over here. Am I really being accused of cheating? They're dead ass accusing me of cheating, bro. There is no way, bro. There's actually no way. These guys are accusing me of fucking cheating. All I did was sneak up on this dude and then take his M4. How come I cheating? Bro, what is it? Yeah, me and Phantom Skull did actually record together. That that collab might might come out actually uh, soon. Soon, probably like in a few weeks or two. I'll I'll ask to record with them again, and we'll do some shit together, and then see what happens. April's coming up. I don't know when the, the next update is gonna be dropping. I know Soldier's planning on doing some tests and stuff with Frontier, which I'm actually really excited to see how that turns out. WMP5, man. And yeah, that concludes part one of the revamped Solo Life series. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Obviously, this took a long time to edit and kind of put together, but, you know, I really felt like I wanted to redo this series, but with better editing and, you know, putting all the knowledge that I've gained throughout doing three to four years at YouTube. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.